All right, so a few days ago I played a game of Ticket to Ride Europe, but I wasn't sure how to use the stations. Apparently, if you claim one of the stations, you can then claim a route that was taken by another player. So let's see. We gotta choose two of these cards. Amsterdam to Wilno and Essen to Kiev. They share a lot of common routes. Let's do that. Now, we need two blue cards. Let's get this blue card. Now we need a lot of yellows and purples. Good. One more yellow to connect Amsterdam with Essen. So each station we don't use... Oh crap, we're gonna need to use that station now. Good thing I learned about it. Uh, which allows us to use one of the routes that our opponent took. Oh no, we can go around. Each station we don't use gives us four extra points at the end, so we want to minimize using them. Let's see, this one doesn't look like something our opponent could take very soon. I think the red one's more urgent. Or actually, this one's the most urgent. Okay, we'll know to Kiev. Red. Oh, we have a bunch of wilds as well. Okay, Warsaw to Will know. That's some pretty unlucky card draws. Okay, I have the cards, but do I want to use up all these wilds? I got a lot of cards. Let's eh, actually, do I need the yellow or the... I think I need the yellow more. Okay, so that's both of those cards. Okay, let's think about how many cities we have all connected. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not a lot of cities, actually. If I draw three cards, well, hopefully something's along the east-west kind of direction. Yeah, that's good. Not so much. Madrid to... Uh, nope. Yeah, maybe want to block him. Hey, that's a route I've actually traveled in real life from Warsaw to Gdansk on a train. Okay, some more ticket cards. Kiev to Sochi. Well, we do have a lot of trains left. Riga to... I don't know how to pronounce that. Zurich. No, we're not close on that. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We need at least eight trains. We got 28 left. What about this one? Zurich. Yeah, we're not even. 
One, two, three, four. That's a lot of wild trains that could be taken by the opponent. Let's do that one card. That's a short one. Frankfurt. How many trains do we have? 20. Berlin to Rome. Yeah, we're not close on that. Budapest. Sofia. No, this one's probably the, the best one. We need... We could do the white route. And we need a wild. Let's see, do I want to draw it from here? It's getting toward the end of the game, so yeah. Okay, we keep in mind that we can use stations as well, so... Paris... We could use a station to use one of those routes. Berlin... Well, this one's already done. Barcelona to Brussels, it looks like. Madrid to Zurich. London to Berlin. That looks like something we're close. We need two wilds. We don't have any and there's none over here. Alright, that looks like the least of the evils. No. Yeah, it's too late to draw any cards because we we don't we won't have another turn to put down a station unless it's something we already completed. Let's see what's the longest route I can put down. Is there any thing that's five or six? Ah, uh, four. Wow, the computer didn't even draw more uh, ticket cards. Okay, so we both kept all our stations intact. And the computer had the longer route. I think having the longer route is kind of overrated. Because I think the best strategy is to have your trains 
branch out so that you touch as many cities as possible so then later you can draw destination cards to quickly score points. Well, that's my favorite strategy. Maybe another strategy might work better. Thanks for watching.